Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey, uh, and welcome to Weekly Tips. We are putting some scents in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today, joined by me, Daniel, and we're going to be bugging around in the topic of drawing a weevil. So let's come with me and let's start to draw this thing. Yeah, so I start off um, here drawing the abdomen. Um, so if you look at my reference and see the references that are out there, there are three parts to a weevil's body. It's similar to other beetles and things like that. Um, that they have the abdomen, um, a thorax, and a head. Um, and there's three parts. The amount of there's spiders and other things that have this kind of similar structure. So if you understand that, it makes it much easier to draw these creatures. Um, and they're interesting creatures. I do, you know, weevils um, are fun, and they some of them can fly. I've, I've looked online, some of them can fly. Interesting. Um, and bugs in general, some of them are very interesting in the way they look. Um, this is a strawberry weevil, um, known as a strawberry weevil. So it's it's very general. This one, as far as I know, it's very similar to a lot of other weevils. Um, but you know, every kind of weevil has their kind of personality to them or, or their traits. You know, some have longer noses, um, bigger abdomens, or bigger um, legs, or something like that. They all have different traits which are interesting to them. I guess this one is, is good for eating strawberries and getting into that kind of thing. And, you know, it depends on what kind of weevil they are, where the environment is, um, what they need and, and those kind of things. So yeah, I start out here, I do a, a generalized sketch, trying to break down um, the actual creature, this actual insect. And then from here, I can make changes and really break it up and try to fix things um, thing, and make things work. Um, now you can see the three different sections here. The abdomen there at the bottom, um, the thorax there, that circular bit, and the bit, I uh, try it squarish bit here is actually the eyes and the nose, so that's kind of the head all in one. Um, and then you see me going and using kind of a shadow technique where I just blank it out with black. <laughs> um, drawing the silhouette basically, silhouette technique. Um, because, you know, these legs are quite thinnish, um, you know, drawing them can become interesting you know to make them not too big not too small so using blanking it in like this does help to to draw them um, so if you need to do it that way do it that way that's fine there's nothing wrong with that they can be a bit flimsy to draw when you're drawing the outsides of them um, pretty much so if you you use drop shadows use um silhouettes to draw them it makes it a little bit easier and now I you know going from here I understand, you know, the general gists of how the weevil works, you know, uh, where his parts are, you know, how big his parts are for this weevil in particular, um, and his features from looking at a top view, because um, that top view is one of the easiest angles, there's side view and top view, those are the kind of the two easiest angles, because everyone's, everything's kind of flattened for you, um, you don't have to kind of worry about perspective or anything like that it's all it's all there all the information's there for you to draw so drawing it like that you can really understand and then you can go and draw something a bit better drawing a different angle of it a very unique angle of this weevil so uh, yeah it's really helpful to do kind of a generalized either side view or top view to, to just really jot down the main key features of you know this weevil or this bug or whatever you're drawing to really understand it um right and next now yeah i'm doing that three quarter angle like i was talking about 
and yeah I'm doing just a black kind of version of it uh, making kind of more of a silhouette kind of three tonal study now going into a little bit of a three tonal study it's a quick ish sketch so I'm not spending all the time making it 100% I am just trying to get the whole gist of this creature this animal and put it all together and then I can either from here um, go and draw and slash paint it better or um, I could just leave it as is and draw it in another angle and keep drawing it and use it as a painting or creature or whatever you know um, it can be very helpful to, to learn and, and draw these creatures and bugs and things like that because yeah they're fun um, but now you know I'm doing a drop shadow because that really helps to, to place it onto the ground and again this is really rough and quick I'm not I'm not aiming for perfection at the moment I'm just kind of just in all day so it all makes sense um, so hopefully um, you did learn something today you did enjoy seeing me uh, draw this um, so yeah you know that's my my drawings here this me just finishing off that drop shadow and yeah it's pretty much all there um, so if you enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments if you enjoy drawing bugs and seeing bugs around you and you know interested in what they do and what they look like what their features are um, you know let me know in the comments as well thanks for checking out this video if you liked it give us a thumbs up keep drawing everyone and see you in the next video goodbye